The storms last month creating extensive damage, ripping about 75% of this roof right off the school. It got hit pretty hard. Superintendent Brett Richards says he was shocked by the intensity of the storm. We were pretty stunned by the whole thing. I mean, we haven't seen a storm like that come through this area in, in a long, long time. The intense winds opened up the roof, exposing the gym to the elements. It was basically raining in this gym, so we knew we had a problem with the roof, and it was really dark out, so it was hard to see. The rain poured into the school. But this gym floor was not going to make it at that particular time. We couldn't dry it out. Uh, there was water underneath it, and once that happens, uh, it's pretty much done. So the floor bubbled and warped from the moisture and had to be ripped out. The rest of the school also took a hit. The water came down in the hallway and then went to both classrooms. We kind of had a lake situation in here. Now, this room is probably the most severely damaged because we think we had the membrane of the uh, front gym roof come on top of this. So we had a lot of moisture and things that were on top and we had some roof damage uh, that put some holes in it as well. So it pretty much flooded this room as well. Richard says the damage adds up to about $700,000 in repairs and the work will continue into the start of next school year. We have the roof company uh, on site and it'll take about 7 to 15 days for them to get all the roofs repaired in the, in, at the high school. I'm told once the ceiling repairs are finished, it'll take about 6 to 8 weeks to get this floor back in. Reporting in Plastview High School, Alex Lisi, KTV News Watch 7.